welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, said Psychic Medium. I'm going to start with a few announcements that I do prior or at the beginning of every single show um, for everybody who's returning, but also for the new folks here. First and foremost, if you would like to call in or join the show live, I go live every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. Second, um, the call-in number is 845-277-9131, or you can join in live on YouTube for about 15 minutes prior to the show. We are having nonsense, just pure nonsense on um, YouTube. It's fun, though. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, I will. I am on social media. I will never, ever reach out to you on social media um, and ask you for money or tell you you need a reading. If you'd like a reading, you reach out to me via my website, uh, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. And that's how readings are set up. Okay. I'm going to start today with the names, and for those of you who are new, um, I'll give this a quick rundown. Names are the names of somebody on the other, uh, the names can be somebody on the other side that's coming through, somebody you love who has passed over on the other side, somebody or somebody on the other side. Okay, let me start again. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, James and Joseph. Okay, here we go. One more time. I'm going to start with names. The names come from people on the other side. It could be their name, your name, or the name of somebody you love, like your child. Um, then I go into songs. Again, the songs are coming from loved ones on the other side. And they could be a song they loved, you loved, you listened together, or the song could be the answer to a question that you've been asking yourself because spirit loves to speak in music. And then depending on where things sit, I may or may not channel. I will be answering questions in the chat. So if you are joining us on YouTube live right now, you can post a question in the chat if you would like to call in and ask on the air. Again, the number is 845-277-9131. Okay, so here we go. The names I'm hearing are, we're going to start with Pauline. 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 Yep, that's it. And then I'm also seeing Paulette. So whatever that means for people. Um, the next name that I'm hearing is Josephine. And the next name that I'm hearing is Margaret. And the next name that I am hearing is Janice, J-A-N-I-C-E. Jane and Jerome. I think they just want to get all the J's out of the way. And then the next name that I'm hearing is uh, they're having a conversation up there, guys. Ah, this is the weirdest thing ever. I see like two people right up here and they're just talking and everybody has stopped to listen to what they're talking about. Okay, we're going to go into songs and hopefully we'll get some songs. And here we go with the songs. Remember, this song could be answering a question that you've been having a float through your mind, or it could be a song this person loved, somebody on the other side loved, you loved, you used to listen to it all the time. And the first the first song is, um, oh my God, I don't even think I can say that on the air. I'm going to start with the second song, which is Magical Mystery carpet ride which I don't know and then there's a song and this better be a song otherwise I am so busted she loves my c-o-c-k I 
I don't know if I can't. I know I shouldn't say it. I don't know if I can spell it. I think it's a song. I'm pretty sure it's a song. I, I think it might have been either a funny song or a rock song. Okay. Uh, okay, next. Um, is that like an ACDC song? Can somebody tell me? Um, anyway, okay, moving on. Move it, just moving right along here. Just moving right along like that never even happened. I'm going to go into the next song is... Um, These guys are punking us tonight because the next song is that really old song. When I was a little bitty boy, my grandmother bought me some kind of toy and that she called it my ding-a-ling. Okay, so somebody up there is hecka funny, hella funny, trying to trying to make, trying to steer the so who at you know what I know? I know for a fact somebody out there is laughing their butt off going, I know exactly who that is. I know exactly who that is. Um, so they know who you are. Let's just let that be done. For those who are still waiting for a possible song, the next song that I'm hearing is um, Eye of the Tiger and then the, the Roar song by Katy Perry. And those are two different songs. Um, so those two songs are coming through and then anything by the Rolling Stones, anything at all by the Rolling Stones, but especially my beast of burden. Oh, you're a beast of, I'll never be your beast of burden. Walk for, yeah, that song. Okay. And then the next song is going to be, and this will be the last song, everybody, um, because they, they're just now playing all the song, the lyrics, the whole Beast of Burden song in my head. They won't stop it. And I'm asking for the next song. And the next song is um, She's Got the Jack. And that that is, that is, I believe that is by ACDC. Oh, she, she gave me the clap. She gave me the jack. She's got the jack. What is that song? Somebody on, on YouTube helped me. Uh, she's... It, I know the beat of it. I'm pretty positive it's ACDC. Yeah, she's got she's got the jack, or she gave me the jack. Uh, uh, yeah, Amy saying no idea. Hey, Paul, welcome to the show. Uh, it could be Molly's song. I don't know that. Hey, Rebecca. Vaughn, thanks for being here. Hey, Mimi. Um, she's got the jack. Da -na, na -na. She's got the jack. Da -na, na -na. I'm pretty positive that's ACDC, but that's the song and that's what they're playing for me. We are going to get right up out of there. And there is, I, I'm going to give um, some... I don't know if I'm going to do channeling tonight. I might do some channeling tonight. I feel like, it. do you guys want channeling? If you want channeling, put yes in the YouTube post. If you want just general, like something about dating or career information, put that, whatever it is you guys want tonight. I could do channeling. I did a, um, I did a clearing on, um, TikTok tonight. So I am on TikTok. My thing is at Psychic Tony and I, I have all clearings on there. And I went on there just to do a post to let everybody know I was going to be on tonight. And um, this came like flying out of my mouth. It was channeling and it said to open our God code. And our God code, like we're direct descendants of of God, whatever you call God, I don't care what you call God, but we are the direct descendant with the spark of that is within us. And the big trick, the big mystery is that is within us. And when we pray and when we ask for things, we always look up into the sky, not realizing it's all within us. So the clearing on TikTok is to open that us open that up and to make us aware of it. And 
um, to let us know that. Now, here's what I was asking this afternoon. Okay, so we're going into this. What, what I was asking this afternoon is like, okay, if we're we're a part of God or whatever you call God, okay, we're a part of that. And like a spark of it, a spark of the great light, let's just call it like that. Um, then do we descend from, and they said everything before I could answer, like you descend from everything, all that ever was, all that will be, you, you're ascending to all that will ever be, but you're a descendant of all that ever was. So if there is such a thing as, and I'm an angel DNA, it is within you. If there is such a thing as angelic blood, it is within you. So a lot of people think like, oh, I'm an earth angel or my family died and now they're an angel. Well, that's always been. It's always been. But truly, truly, you are. And I can't, I'm channeling now. So please don't come at me for whatever's going to come out. You are the code. So the DNA within you is the code. It is. And I'm not like me. Tony is not really sure when they say the code. I kind of a little bit grasp it, but I'm not completely comprehending it. So let's do a clearing that we all comprehend what this means. <laughs> Let me know if you're feeling this. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. So if we are the code, that means we are the answer. So if this world is a computer and we are the code, we are running the computer. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So make that fit how it fits with you. Make it work how it works with you. Um, understand it the way you can or however that fits with you. Because for each one of us, that might be just a little bit different. And we're going to... I just want to know more. Oh, man. Okay. So, okay, you guys, if you'd like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. That's the call-in number. You can ask a question about life, love, career, finances, the God code. Call in and ask. Um, or you can pop in and ask on. Um, on YouTube. Okay, so here's what I'm getting as I'm getting ready to take a, a caller is that we think we have to go outside of ourselves to get something, let's just say money or um, money or or whatever it is, but it's all already inside of us. It is all already right here. And we just have to open that up. So inside of us, let's just say it's the DNA strand. Okay, this is what they're showing me. Just, just stick with me for a moment. There's a DNA strand that goes through us and that's like the code. But the spark is here and from that spark is all the code. Okay. And the spark inside of us can never be disconnected from the, sp the whole that is. Okay. So if, if the code is within us, like one, one of those strands, and there's supposed to be, I'm hearing 48, 48, mm -hmm. 48 different strands, then each strand represents a different part of life or a different segmentation. I need someone to ask me questions so the answers can flow out of me. I really need that. But if you open up that code, all of the universe in that aspect will be there. That's what I'm getting. I don't know. Okay. 845-277-9131 is the call-in number. I'm going to take the first caller, and then I'm going to answer some questions on um, YouTube. And if you want to know something, please ask us a like kind of a specific 
question regarding that subject, and I'll be happy to answer it for you. I'm going to uh, take 216. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, hi, my name is Patricia, calling from Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, Patricia, how can Thanks I help you? Thanks for taking my call. Absolutely, my pleasure. How can I help you um, tonight? Yes, I, um, does uh, an ancestor or ancestors wish to communicate with me? Sure. And I'll narrow it down. Um, um, sheesh. Be it uh, a parent or a grandparent. So first I'm going to tell you, Patricia, the first thing I see, there's a woman here with, an. I don't know if the woman has like a B name, like Betty or Beatrice, but there's somebody here with a B name. And then I'm also seeing, I don't know if these are the same people. Um, And that... Okay, first, then I'm seeing a really thin woman. It it feels like she would have been possibly a grandmother, but could have been a mother. But um, a dress with like little blue flowers on it. It's a white dress with little blue flowers on it. Um, and that could be a night dress also that I'm seeing. And her hair, she was, she did get a bit older while she was here because her hair is pretty it got, it, it went gray. Um, but okay, so this is one of the people that I'm seeing. And then there's a big, stronger, more stocky man standing behind her. But I think anybody would look stocky behind her because towards the end, she was pretty thin. Okay, so these are the two people I'm seeing immediately. Does the B name make sense to you? Do you know anybody on the other side like that is a has a B name? And I, I know that's pretty vague, but I, I do know that I'm seeing these two people, but I'm also hearing like a Beatrice or Betty or something like that. Does that make sense to you, love? Um. No, not uh, in my family. Of course, I'm an only child. Both parents are dead. Um, now, my father, uh, he rejected me and my mother, so he was not a part of my life. And um, and that, that was his choice, refuse to pay child support anyway. So I wouldn't know what relatives on that um, side of the family. Okay, so what I'm going to um, say is if we don't, if we don't know the name, it's okay. And the Beatrice could be for somebody else who's listening. Right now, we're just going to focus on the people who are here and the message they want to give you. And the first message that they would be saying to you is love yourself because all answers fall within that realm. And the second message they're wanting to say to you is to... um. They, they are you thinking of moving or, or moving can mean a couple of different. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, because they're confirming that and they are saying, get up, get out, move. And the, I know that it's always easy for me to say this. And I know it's not always easy for it to be done on the person's side. But remember, I am just giving a message. I am not um, saying it's going to be easy to do what they say. They say they're saying just sooner, the sooner, the better. And they're also saying, don't, don't stall. Like anything you can do to... Make that move sooner is going to be better for you. And they know in your thoughts that might be difficult, but they're trying to put things in place so that you can make the move sooner and don't have fear with the move. Um, just have faith, have faith that it's all going to come together. Okay, love. Um, and, but, but you do need to take some steps towards it. Okay. Uh, well, yes, I'm, in fact, I'm going to be moving, uh, Tuesday, um, uh, very early on the Amtrak train that's coming up Tuesday. Um, and basically I'm 
been working so hard to find some free accommodations through these hospitality travel websites, I do have a person I connected with that I can stay with for about a couple of nights close to the state that I'll be moving to and I'm trying to get the money together and so that I can ship my belongings. Because I, I do, these are things I'm going to need, meaning my clothes and books and you know, uh, those sort of things. Um, so yes, I mean, I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, and it's, um, and then of course I've been applying to the remote jobs and I keep on applying, but yes, I, I am moving forward. I am doing the action. Okay. Uh, and I know I need to get a negative, you know, apartment building here. Um, and get out of this city period because it has been heavy, negative, and just unhealthy. I'm <laughs> okay. What I'm going to say is you're going in the right direction. Keep moving forward. And I do feel like the job thing is going to come in within a month. Uh, keep looking. Get that address solid or get a P.O. box solid so that when you're applying, it's helpful. Um, Patricia, thank you so much for calling in. I hope this was helpful and please stay in faith as you move forward, love. I um I really, really uh will be praying for you. I know everybody in the chat will or everybody watching or listening. And remember that everything is coming together for you. Um I am gonna go to Curse Lynn, I believe that's how we pronounce it. Curse Lynn, um, should I leave my job at the hospital? Not until you get another one. Now, I would say that to anybody that's not guidance. And I would say figure out what it is, Curse Lynn, you want to do so that when you get to the next thing, you're there. One of the things I'm getting for you is that you might want to. Look at what other options you have as far as like I, what you're doing right now at the hospital, but it, where else, what else could you do with that like training or that title that you have? So I, I know a lot of women that went to school for nursing and then they started working in aesthetics and doing things along the lines of Botox and injections because they just found that to be uh, more financially lucrative, but they also found it to be a happier environment for them. The hours were better and they weren't under as much pressure. And then they also started their own, uh, uh, I don't want to say little med spas, but so figure out what else where you can do that but before do not quit until or do not leave until you you actually have something else solid for yourself is what I'm hearing um, otherwise you will have regrets and Paul can you be a little bit more more Paul can you please be a little bit add a little bit more to that question other than career what would you like to know about career if you would like to call in uh, the call-in number is um, the call-in number is eight four five two seven seven nine one three one. You can call in, and there are not there's hardly no one on the call log right now. So if you call in, you're probably going to get through tonight. I'm going to take seven two seven. What's your name, and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Lisa, how can I help you today? Oh, um, yes. I am um, wondering if you see a relocation coming up for me. Okay. I heard a quick yes and then a no. Um, <laughs> so, okay. um, mm -hmm. funny. I'm trying to ask them, like, I'm just going to ask you, are you thinking of relocating outside of Florida or within your area? You know, I actually don't know where I'm going to go quite yet. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. 
what I'm hearing, this is as things sit right now. You can always change your mind and you can always, you know, you're in charge of your destiny. And I try to stress that to everybody. As of right now, the next six months, you're not going anywhere. Within a year, there is the possibility or the probability of a move. However, you have to really figure out where you want to go and why you want to be there. And then everything will fall into place. Um, I always say to everybody, you can't just run from something it's always better to run to something than from something okay love yes so i feel like over the next six months there probably will not be a move from six months to a year if you figure out where you want to be there's a really good chance you're going to end up there okay love okay Thank you so much for calling in. I hope this was helpful. And um, if you have another question in the future, please do call back. Paul on YouTube wants to know, I changed. I want to know if you're passing an exam on August 17th. Is Paul going to pass his exam on August 17th? Paul, you have a lot of stress and pressure with this. Um, we're going to do a clearing, uh, for exams. You get caught up in your head. Like I'm literally getting a headache. Um, with this, you have all the information inside of you. You know, the answer to all of the questions. It's almost like you go blank or there's so much pressure or stress with this, that when it comes time for the exam, you don't, um, You can't get the answers the right way. So let's do a clearing on that for you, Paul, so that you can pass this exam and it can be where you need it to be. Yeah, this is anxiety. This I don't want to call it anxiety. I just want to call it a lot of stress with this. Um, and let's just clear that and get that out of the way. I'm going to clear a couple of other things with this right away, Paul. Okay, everybody. Um, whew, Paul, I hope that's helpful. I hope that you feel that. I do feel like when you the, get a really good night's sleep before you go in and take some B stress complex, I don't know if that will be helpful for your exam or not, but I feel like B stress complex always helps me when I'm in a um, going through a stressful time. I do feel like Right now, it's kind of 50-50 if you're going to pass the exam or not. I do feel like if you go in, you have to take those so slow, deep breaths before you answer. I am going to tell you, you know everything. You have all the answers. It's just the um, what goes on in your head that would minimize you being able to uh, uh, pass this exam. Okay, love. Uh, thank you so much for asking the question. Um, uh, Paul's going to pass this exam. Let's strengthen that. I'm getting a yes now. Let's strengthen that. And definitely remember, take a slow, deep breath and let the answer come up. Don't get too in your head, Paul. Okay. Tonight's show is only going to be a 30 minute show. I'm so grateful for everybody that tuned in and thank you so much for being here. I will be back Monday at noon and next Wednesday at 7 p.m. I look forward to doing the show with you then. Thanks, everybody, and have an amazing weekend.